Hello guys, in this video I am going to teach you about built-in data type in C-Sharp. So built-in data type in C-Sharp are the data type which are provided by C-Sharp to us. For example, in the last videos I have uh, used a data type like int x, right? So this int is a data type which tells or which gives us the information that the variable x is a variable which is used to hold the integer values. Like this int, there are more variable or more data types in C sharp for us which we can use in different situations. Now, in order to see uh, these built in data type, we can go to msdn website which is from microsoft and first of all if you want to search for the, this you can just search for built in types in c sharp and just click the first link here and this is the link so built in data types are like this this is a list of built in data type in c sharp so bool byte s byte char decimal double and there is a whole list of these data types and all this belongs to system namespace now for example bool you want to declare a bool this belongs to system dot boolean namespace so there is a list of uh, namespaces also to which every data type belongs to now in order to see the range of these uh, data type there is a data type called byte whose range is 0 to 255 which is an integer so if you see here in the first link there are there is a list of uh, uh, topics here so first topic is integral types table integral type table is nothing but the number uh, data type which you can declare in c sharp so this can be s byte which is signed byte and whose range is minus 128 to 127 byte is 0 to 255 there is a char short whose range is minus 32000 something to plus 32000 unsigned short int which we were using its range is minus 2 billion to plus 2 billion something right and if you want to uh, declare unsigned integer which start from 0 then its range will be 0 to 4 billion right and if you want to show a bigger number you can use long and u long so these are the integer values or unsigned integer values right now in order to declare decimal point or floating point they have something like floating point data types and the main floating point data types are float and double float has a range which with the precision seven digits and the double has the range with a precision 15 to 16 digits so if you want to declare a floating data type which contains points in between 1.0 something this type of data type is declared using float or double okay now there is something called default data type so what are the default here if i click this default value table there is a list of uh, default values for every data type so whenever you declare a bool for example its default value or it will it will be initialized as a false value right and byte its default value is zero char its default value is slash null which is null terminator decimal has the default value one zero point zero so there is a list of default value default uh, means by default uh, if you don't assign any value this default is assigned to them right now 
this is all these tables here so you can always go to this msdn sci web website and see this okay there is a one important data type called string data type which contains a string of unicode characters which we are going to discuss in this video later so let's uh, see how we can declare the variable or data type once again so for example i want to declare a bool data type bool x then we need to initialize it by true or false so bool contains true or false right and when you want to show the value of x you can just print it by console write so you can write console dot write and you can just print this okay and when you run this program it will build and run it will give you true because the value of uh, x is true and if you give it false then it will show the value false here yeah. okay in some languages you can also provide the value 0 or 1 to bool but in c sharp you can only provide true or false to the boolean variables so i think you have now the basic idea of declaring the variables variables with a data type now if you want uh, so if i have already uh, told you here that every data type has some range right which is 0 to 255 or 128 to 127 for sign byte you don't need to remember this um, these ranges for example if you want to find out the range using c sharp what you can do is for example i will declare a variable int and i want to know the minimum uh, minimum range of this int what i can do is i can just print double quotes for example and I can write minimum int range and with this plus sign I can get the range minimum range of integer so I will just copy this int data type here and I will say dot and there are some options so min value and max man value is uh, some option so i will i will just take this min value and when i run the program it says the minimum range is minus this 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 which also matches the integer range minus this this right so you can find the minimum values or the maximum values using uh, this min and max value for every data type right for example if you want to see the maximum range of int you can just write dot max value and here you can write max range maximum range of int okay or you can and you can just use it here also max minimum range of int and just run your program once again and you see here minimum range of int is minus 2 billion and maximum range is something like this okay so you can always find the minimum and maximum value using this c sharp code also now in the last video i have also shown you how to use this string data type so i have shown you you can declare a string data type like this string for example you want to name your variable as name and this string data type contains this any string or any unicode string 
within these double quotes so i can just assign the value to this name variable as this is our name some some string okay so in order to assign a value to a string you need to include these double quotes here right now there is something called escape sequence so escape sequence is a, a letter or or a symbol which we can use to uh, escape the character for example you want to print double quotes inside your string and for i will give the double quotes here and here for example so i want to print this this is the name with the double quotes but when i include these double quotes here it will show me the error the code will show me the error because whenever you just declare a double quote it will it will consider this as a string and this other is extra code uh, which the, this c sharp code cannot understand because i have already told you whenever you declare a string its value is inside double quotes and you your double quotes are already here right so in order to print this uh, double quote here and double quote here you need to use escape sequence and escape sequence in c sharp is a backslash this one and here this one not here but here and so if you want to print this double quote here just before this you need to give this escape sequence here which is a slash symbol then we will be able to print this name inside double quotes so let's run the code once again i will just print this and i will remove this this is the name here okay i will run the program now and you see here the this is a name is inside these double quotes now printed inside these double quotes right and there is a list of uh, these escape sequence in c sharp which you can use so let's see what are these uh, this list in c sharp so when you search for escape sequence in c sharp ms in mstn you can see there is a list of escape sequence here and we were we have just used this double quotation for printing double quotation we have used this escape sequence now in order to change the line there is escape sequence like this slash and when you give this it will print your values in new line right or you if you want to give a horizontal tab you will just write slash t so let's see an example now so for example i want to print this name in different lines this is a name so i want to change the line so I, what can i do i will use slash n here and i can use slash n here and slash n here now this is a name will be printed in new line in four lines so let's see what is the result here and you can see here this is a name is printed in every new line here right so you can see this list and you can uh, decide what uh, what escape sequence you want and you can use this escape sequence now for example you want to print uh, the path of a file you can use because the path of a file in windows contains this backslash itself right so for example i have a path in somewhere for uh, some file and i want to print this path so i will copy this path and i will just paste it here and as soon as you paste your path 
it will show you the error because this slash is a ex escape sequence and it will not allow you to print this path because it's a wrong uh, way of printing path let me change the variable name first and we are going to print this path here so for the escape sequence of slash if you want to print slash here you see here escape sequence of back backslash is this double slashes so if you want to print this path you need to give double slashes for every slash okay so i have provided double slash for every slash and when i print this path you see here it's printing only a single slash even though we have provided the double slash here because double slash is an escape sequence of slash okay now whenever you print this type of path or whenever you need to print this type of path whenever some other user sees it it will be he will be confused uh, because it's it doesn't look good when you uh, print this path like this so in c sharp there is something called verbatim literal and by using this verbatim literal you can ignore your escape sequence you don't need to uh, write this escape sequence whenever you use this verbatim literal before a string it will print the string as it is so let me just give you the name with this literal is called verbatim string literal right and verbatim string literal in c sharp is this add the rate the symbol right so for example i want to just print this path without these escape sequences how can i do it i will just add this verbatim literal before my string and now whatever you write after this verbatim literal it will li literally print this string it will literally take this string and print it okay so now when you run the program it will print your path as it is you don't need to give any escape sequence or anything else for example i want to print this uh, this is a path and i want to print it in double quotes i can just give these double quotes here and it says error so you need to use this verbatim literal only with paths right it will not work with any other variable or any other string so this is wrong right we were just able to print the path and not any other string no this is not true in order to print this this is a path for example in double quotes you need to give this whatever is the escape sequence what for example this put you need to double these things okay so what whatever is the escape sequence for example this double quotes in c sharp you need to give double double quotes right so it will print it like this i will just print it and it will print it this is a path so whenever you print a path with a verbatim literal which is this at the rate symbol you just need to give the path right but whenever you want to print something which you for which you need to use escape sequence you need to double that thing for example you want to print double quote just provide two times double quote here and two times double quote here and verbatim literal will understand this two time double quote as a single quote here right so just remember this thing so what we have learned in this video we have learned different data types in 
C sharp. We have learned escape sequence with string data type, and we have learned verbatim literal, which is this at the rate symbol in C sharp. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.